Truly, there is only one way in which Real Betis, or rather Quique Setien, has an interest in playing football. Each game, they set up in the same way, play the same style, and only change nuances of their system on a game-by-game -game basis. The vast majority of their thinking and identity remains consistent, and the moment that this isn't the case, Setien will no longer be their coach. Setien's ideas are held sacred to him, and having enjoyed football as a technician in his playing days, this carries over into the aesthetically pleasing way in which the teams he coaches treat the ball. And Real Betis knew exactly what they were getting. Setien's teams are high risk and entertaining. Betis play in a fluid 4-3-3 or 4-1-4-1 system, akin to the one which Setien utilised with Las Palmas. His back four must be incredibly comfortable on the ball, while Javi Garcia drops deepest in the midfield to help the transition phase. Joaquin and Teo can feature as roaming wingers, with the likes of Guidado, Fabian, Victor Camarasa and Riyad Budbus, some of the creative talent that Betis can boast on rotation in central midfield. Ensuring that there are plenty of triangles on the pitch is something that is vital to Betis' risky style of play. Regardless of situation or presser, Betis will always try and play out from the back. Adan may not have previously been used in such a way, but he has no choice under Setien. The goalkeeper will always be asked to try and shift possession to his deep, split central defenders, or similarly to their midfield pivot who will come searching for possession deep if required. To kick long would be counterproductive for this system, so it is only utilised in moments of real panic or danger. Zuer Fadal is a key pillar of this Betis side at centre-back and is comfortable on the ball, with Setien's central defenders dropping as deep as their own byline to open up the angles required to keep possession. Even against a very high press, Betis will continue to stick to their principles. Inevitably, this does lead to mistakes over the course of a long season, but patient build-up is the hallmark of their system. Betis also play with a high defensive line, with Javi Garcia often dropping in between his central defenders when his side are in control of possession and are not boxed into their own half. It leaves them exposed and vulnerable to quick counter-attacks if they lose possession, but it also allows their fullbacks to push on to free their wingers. The role of Betis's midfield pivot is to drop deep and connect the dots in build-up play, just as Roque Mesa was a vital part of Setien's Las Palmas, as he offered himself as the central point of a lot of triangles in his coach's juego de position style. Javi Garcia, as a four, Andreas Guadado and Jordi Amat have all taken their turns to be deployed in this role. Fabian and Guadado, however, have much more freedom and licence to play in the way that they see fit. Their liberty allows for them to drop into pockets of space and have the confidence to play their own game, which is something that Setien always promotes. Joaquin and Teo are not afraid to come back in support of their fullbacks to help Betis play out from the back, with the wingers very much needing to read the game and when they should drop in or step out to create the necessary space to help their teammates transition through the midfield third. Spacing well is key. When Betis are looking dangerous and have supplied their wide men with the possession, they have the confidence to drive at pace and offer themselves as a man's spare on the far side when the counter-attack is conducted at speed. On the defensive side of things, Joaquin and Teo have to chase back and aid their fullbacks, otherwise their system would be picked apart with ease. Recently, young Spain under-21 midfielder Fabian has been given the licence to act as Betis's main playmaker. He has excellent technical ability and is very confident in possession, unafraid to carry the ball, plays one-twos and continues to advance, as well as being prepared to go even beyond his wingers and play in close proximity to lone striker Sergio Leon. Betis are very patient. They will play backwards to recycle the ball until they find the right moment to play an incisive pass to turn lengthy possession into immediate danger. When Betis have managed to successfully transition into the opposition half, Demisi and Barragan will hold the width, allowing for the likes of Joaquin and Teo to drift into spaces or the half space. Sergio Leon leads the line and will always look to sniff out chances to be slipped in behind or fed into the penalty area when Setien's wingers are able to drive into dangerous areas. Regardless of the opposition, Betis will not surrender their principles and will continue to play in the same way. Setien wants his players to enjoy themselves, and the sheer amount of goals that his side have been both conceding and scoring makes them a side to keep an eye out for in La Liga over the months to come.
People often ask us where we get our stats for these videos. Uh, a great place to start is the OneFootball app. The app offers a fairly comprehensive statistical coverage of teams and players in-game and post-match. So there's a link in the description of this video if you'd like to download it. Thanks for watching.